Hello and welcome to highlights of stage two of the Tour de France fam. Avec Swift, 151.7 kilometers today from Clermont Ferrand to Moriac. After stage one, Lotte Capecchi leading the race overall in the yellow jersey by 45 seconds from teammate Lorena Vibis with Charlotte Cool third at 47 seconds. What a stage the riders had ahead of them. 151.7 kilometres with many calling it the Queen's stage with the most elevation of this year's race, 2,519 metres in total. Six categorised climbs along the route. One bonus climb sprint and a rise up towards the finish line. It was going to be a tough day ahead for the riders. First breakaway of the day that really stuck was Georgia Williams of EF Education, Tibco, Silicon Valley Bank, and Hannah Ludwig of Team Uno X, just outside 80 kilometers ago. They had a minute and a half, but the peloton were not really in any mood to let them go. And with just outside 55 kilometers from the finish, a sporting handshake, the day was done in the breakaway for Ludwig and Williams. Heading on to the Cote de Plan, the Category 2 climb, the conditions were changing the rain was starting to fall the pressure on at the front Julie van der Velde of team Fenix de Koenig were clearly had designs on trying to take the polka dot jersey of Queen of the Mountains a crash in the peloton behind took down a few riders it delayed the likes of Annemiek van Vluten and Liana Lipper along with Elisa Longaborghini Movistar brought the world champion and the defending Tour de France winner back into the mix van der Velde crested the summit taking maximum points ahead of her teammate Yara Kasteline Anuska Kost and Soraya Paladin made it up to Castelline. And with Marta Cavalli closing the group up behind, Castelline attacked again. And it went over the top of the next climb shortly after the Cote de Bossier Cat 4 climb, taking maximum points. She would be heading at the end of the day towards the Queen of the Mountains jersey. Anuska Costa and Ava van Aert made it the three at the front. The gap with Yo-Yo between 30 seconds and just over a minute. The rain, though, started to fall heavily within the final 15 kilometers of the race. FDJ Suez, Marta Cavalli was feeling the cold, dropped back to the team car for a gilet. On the descent, Castelline showed her cyclocross skills. She would have a tough job to get back to the front. On the descent, though, it would be disaster for Team Jumbo Visma's Ava Van Aert. She would crash heavily on the descent leaving Costa at the front, who was rejoined by Castelline. But as they headed up the final climb of the day, the Cote de Treblac, Cassia Nuviadoma was in attacking mood. Ashley Mormon Passio, Liana Lippert all up with her. Riders were getting tailed off behind. It was a select group yet again that was coming together at the front. Yellow jersey, Lotta Capecchi in the group. Her teammate, Marlon Reusser. How many times have we seen the Swiss champion do this this season? She made a big move, but Elisa Longobolgini and Cassia Nuvia Doma straight on her. It would be fireworks all the way to the finish. The Cote de Treblac summit coming with 1.4 kilometers to to go there would be a steep descent and then the kick up towards the line Damie Vollering led out for Capecchi with Persico Lippert and Schweinberger in the mix Utrup Ludwig closing it back up Lotta Capecchi launched her move but over the top came the German champion from Team Movistar and Liana Lippert takes her first victory since the Cadell Evans road race at the beginning of 2020 we think it will be the first of many. Liana Lippert takes the stage victory on day two of the Tour de France fam. Avec Zwift, delight on the face of the German rider. We've been waiting a while for this one. We think it'll be the first of many. Your top 10 looks like this. Liana Lippert from Lotta Capecchi, Sylvia Persica with Bourbon Passio, Schweinberger, Utrup Ludwig and Vollering all up there in the top 10. Another day, another yellow jersey for Lotta Capecchi. Extends her lead in the general classification. Liana Lippert now moves up to second. Ashley Mulman Passio up to third. Minute and three separating your top ten overall.
Stage three should be a day for the sprinters, but if this race is anything to go by, they will make it as difficult as possible for the likes of Lorena Vibis and Charlotte Cole. You've got four category four climbs along the route, one cat three and one intermediate sprint. Will it be a day for the fast finishers? Make sure you join us for more action for the Tour de France fam Avic Swift tomorrow. Check out live coverage on Discovery Plus, GCN Plus and Eurosport.